Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about surfaces, traces, partial derivatives, and tangent lines to the traces, which is where partial derivatives come in. So let's look at what we're dealing with. We have a surface, it's f of x, y, or z, is equal to x times y times e to the negative one half quantity x squared plus y squared. So that's the surface that we're gonna deal with. And we wanna find the tangent line to the trace in the plane x equals one at the point one, two. So given that kind of problem, we actually know um, that x is gonna be held constant. And if x is being held constant, that means that y must be the variable. And that's an important thing to kind of work out because we need to think about the slope of this trace. So if y is the variable, then when we go to find the slope, what we're actually gonna be finding is just partial y or partial f partial y, but usually you just say partial y. So we need to find that I look at the surface and I see it's something times y, so that's my first function, times e to the sum function of y. So that's gonna be my second, and it's a product, so I'm gonna use product rule. So it's gonna be first is just x times y. Derivative of the second is e to the something, um, so we're gonna use the chain rule, so it's gonna be e to the something times the derivative of that thing. So the derivative of negative one half quantity x squared plus y squared is actually just negative y by the kind of power rule, I guess, right? Because x is being held constant and then y squared uh, gives you two y and the negative one half. So it's gonna be negative y times e to the blah, blah, blah. So derivative of the second is negative y e to the negative one half quantity x squared plus y squared. So that's first derivative of the second plus, we gotta do second, so second, and then the derivative of the first is actually just x because the first is x times y. So derivative with respect to y is just x. And then this you can actually clean up. So um, you can take out an x and you can take out uh, e to the, all that stuff. And then when you do that, you're just left with the quantity one minus y squared. Okay, so that's our, our partial y. And now what we need to do is find the slope at the point one, two in the plane x equals one. So that's what we're doing. That's um, gonna be the value of partial y at this point. So notationally, that's gonna be partial y evaluated at one, two. And then when you substitute that in, you get negative three e to the negative five halves. Okay, so that's our slope. So I'm gonna copy a bunch of stuff over um, to the next slide. Um, so there's our slope and there we go. Okay, so we still have the same surface. We're looking for the tangent line to the trace in the plane x equals one at the point one, two. X was a constant because it's x equals one is the plane. So we knew y was the variable. So we calculated partial y to get the slope of the trace. So that's where we currently stand. And now what we wanna do is um, try to work out the tangent line. So to get a tangent line, I need to know a point. So the point is just gonna be f of one, two. Well, that's gonna be the z value of the point, right? So the ordered pair for the tangent line is actually two comma two e to the negative five halves, because remember x is being held constant. So what I like to do at this point is kind of draw a picture. So x is being held constant. So uh, I'm drawing this picture in the plane x equals one. And then what's important here is, so on the horizontal is gonna be y, on the vertical is gonna be z or f, depending on how you wanna label it. And I know that I'm gonna be at the point y equals two, z equals two e to the negative five halves. Let's squeeze that in. So we're gonna have a point in the plane x equals one. And at that point, we calculated the slope is going to be negative three e to the negative five halves. So I don't really know what that is, but I do know that it's negative. So I'm um, just gonna sketch a line with a negative slope. And then, uh, so usually I actually do it this way and I don't even draw the trace. Um, I don't know what the trace looks like exactly, so I'm just gonna kind of fill in something like that. So that's what we're doing. We have this trace in, it's a two dimensional curve. It's in the plane x equals one. We calculated its slope um, and this trace is definitely not accurate or at least I didn't try to make it accurate. Um, so that's what we have. Uh, so in this plane, in the plane x equals one, I can write the equation of the tangent line and it's gonna be y is the independent variable and z is the dependent variable. So it's gonna look like in point slope form, z minus the z coordinate equals the slope, which we calculated, 
and then y minus the y coordinate, so y minus two. But we really need to write it parametrically because um, we're actually, we're not in the yz plane, we're in the plane x equals one. So parametrically, we just let x equal one, and then y is our independent variable, so we're gonna let y equal t, the parameter, and then we're going to, for z, just let z equal that tangent line we just wrote. So I'm gonna move over the um, two e to the negative five halves. So we get this. But now when we get to y, we replace it with t because y is equal to t. And for this line, if we say that t is an element of the reals, there you go. We've got our tangent line to the trace in the plane x equals one. Um, we know that it has a slope of partial y, which was negative three e to the negative five halves. And that's what we set out to do. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.